Just a day after ACT Teachers Representative Franz Castro filed charges against former President Duterte, his son, Davao Representative Paulo Duterte, publicly challenged her, asserting that public officials should have thick skin when criticized. But Castro hit right back. Marian Enriquez has the story. Government officials should not be onion-skinned. That's what Davao City Representative Paulo Duterte said after ACT teacher Spartalus Representative Franz Castro filed grave threat charges against his father, former President Rodrigo Duterte. The complaint stemmed from statements made by Duterte against Castro in an SMNI interview that aired on October 11. In that TV interview, the former president defended his daughter's confidential funds, going as far as red-tagging members of Congress and mentioning Castro's name when he said, quote, Gusto kong patayin. Pero iba na to, you know, iba na to. Ako nga, kongresista na ako, nababantaan pa, no, much more na kayang gawin yan sa mga pangkaraniwang mga mamamayan. But Congressman Duterte questioned Castro's statement. He said, quote, while we have the right to file a complaint against anyone in court, public servants should not be onion-skinned and should not make use of this right as a tool to silence critics. Castro said in a statement that the onion skin doctrine, even in libel cases, does not give license to anyone to issue death threats. She adds that this does not discount or diminish the right of persons to life and safety. And with that, she noted that criticism is different from death threats. In an interview, attorney Harry Roque, former spokesperson of former President Duterte, confirmed that they already know about Castro's complaint. But Roque shrugged off the charges, saying Duterte's camp is not afraid to face it. Hindi po siya naaabala sa mga ginawa ni Franz Castro. At bakit matindi ko pa nakikita ko ano yung reklamo ni Franz Castro, eh paalalahan ko lang ko siya, na dati ang dating presidente, Ang presidente po ni Akte sa lahat ng mga intelligence report, ang lahat ng mga security agency para magpapatunay kung sino talaga ang tunay ng laban ng Republikano. But in another interview with SMNI just yesterday, former President Duterte again slammed Castro and other House lawmakers. He says he couldn't accept that the House supposedly humiliated his daughter over her request for confidential funds. Duterte again challenged the House to publicize its own budget to make sure that they're not hiding any confidential funds. Kayong mga congressman, pinagsabihan na sana ninyo kaagad. Nanabi na sana ninyo doon sa kapwa ninyong congressman, kay liberal mo itong si Franz, Sabihin mo kay Sekretary Duterte, huwag yan kasi babaray na. E p*** pinahiya ninyo, e samantala kayo naman dyan nagwawaldas sa'yo ng pera, kaya buksan nga natin, tignan natin frauds kung magkano ang nakuha mo sa Kongreso. The House has yet to address Duterte's latest statements, but they had earlier clarified that they do not have any confidential funds, but only extraordinary expenses for the Congress operations. We also tried to get Vice President Sara Duterte's take on the matter when she visited the Comelec office in Manila earlier today, but she refused to be interviewed. For News 5, Marian Enriquez, we are One News.